Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was out and found a 1970 Dodge Coronet Super B I think y'all are gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Eddie, that's a cool hot rod, brother. Thank you, Scotty. Tell it's me a little a, bit about it. It's a 1970 Dodge Coronet Super B. Okay. And um, it was tore, completely torn down and been hauled around since 2001, just in pieces. And he brought it to me and the owner, Randy Adams and Betsy Adams. They brought it to me in pieces and crates and stuff. And I worked on it about a year and, and made what you see of it now. Are they big Mopar fans? It's actually his first car. Wow. He, he bought it when he was 15 years old. He the bought, actual car or a car like no, this? No, that actual car. He's had that car since he's 15 years Holy old. Holy cow. Yeah, and he is now in his 50s. And he's had that car that long. And, and uh, him and his dad tinkering with it, he said it ran a few times and then, like I said, it kind of tore up and he put it to the side and then they ended up again turning it down in 2001 and hauling it through three different house moves and again brought it to me as just the body stuff there for me to do. He said, do what you want to do. In stock form, what trim was it? It was a 383 four-speed car. It's not any longer though. No, not any longer. Tell me some of the changes that you've made to it. <laughs> well, the motor, of course, the 383 is still a big block. We did, of course, a 440 and that's board and stroke to a 505 cubic inch big block. Uh, we did a wine blower like on my Barracuda. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, did a Dyer's blower like on my Barracuda, a uh, 71. And then I had Jim Loy, the same guy, made all the stuff for my Incredible Hulk Barracuda. Made that six 500 CFM two barrel intake that you see on. And then made That's 12 in 12 barrel. Yes, the 12 pack, just like the just like the Hulk, the wow. the Mopar with the 12 pack. And uh, it, it's going to, it seems like it's going to do it. We've still got some trial and error things going to get it running and everything, you know, with the running part of stuff, but I believe it's going to be okay. We'll got to get out. it sorted out. This That's thing's right. just getting done, right? Exactly. Right. exactly. Like I said, we haven't had it, but at one one show, we'll have it, haven't it even driven it five miles. Right. So, yeah, it's just getting done. Now, I know this is going to be a silly question. Is it a Hemi? No. No, it's not. No, it's just oh. a 440. Okay. So, yeah. it started as a 440 block, Chrysler block. Exactly. Design. I yeah. got you. Mopar. All right, cool. Yeah. So, it's still a Mopar. It is Mopar. all Mopar. And then, oh, okay. you know, that's kind of like, it's kind of like we talked about my Cuda. You have a lot of the Mopar purists that just absolutely lose their mind because they think you took that rare 1970 car and now you made a race car of that. Right. And it's just like my Hulk car. I, I haven't cut it. We haven't mini tubbed it. We haven't tubbed it. I mean, those cars have a 14 inch wheel wheel. So, they will hold a huge turn wheel without doing anything to them. Right. And even in the front, no roll bars, no roll cages, don't put nothing, like I said, on my car. Don't make a race car out of it. Still has the stock original K member in it. It's just like mine, again, for all intents and purposes, you can take all that stuff off the top of the motor, put an intake and a four barrel back on it, put the stock hood back on it. It's still a 1970 Coronet Super Bowl. Well, I think there will be people that will appreciate that. Exactly, yeah. Tell and me a little that, bit about the interior. The interior, of course, is a latte. It's just a better grade of vinyl. And, of course, I do the upholstery stuff, just like in my other stuff and a lot of stuff. And... Uh, it's Carrera, it's called. Carrera Gold and Carrera Camel. And I'm, I kind of just see different designs as I'm doing upholstery and just try to make them all unique and all different. And it turned out really cool. No, you. yeah, no, it's, just, it's got a great style to it. Thank and, you. And uh, it looks good. Colors work well with the uh, paint color. Exactly. And What's I, going on with that uh, shifter there in the console? That's kind of like that also in the Hulk car. It is a <clears throat> three, four handle. The little handle works, of course, park reverse, neutral drive. And then when you pull it back into low, then those big tall three ones, they all click forward. Okay. And then you get a hold of the first one when you take off, and that puts it in low. And then you get a hold of the first one, the first handle pulls it first to second, the middle handle pulls it second to drive, and the outside handle when you're done pulls it drive to neutral. Okay. So it works. It's just a really cool trick shifter. Right. It looks yeah. like it's a race shifter. Oh, yeah. But you can use yeah. it as a normal. Exactly. Drive a lot of people say it's a kind of Linko or something like that. Right. And, you know, it's just a 727 big block transmission, just a standard transmission. Tell me a little bit about the paint, because that's another thing that's going to blow Well, that was kind of, again, the the idea of the thing with the Super B. I really like the idea of the Super B. And then, like us, we were talking about, the, the B resurrected. You know, he brought that car to me and I always laugh and tease about cars and having to resurrect them from the dead. And they brought that car up here in 2001. From 2001 tore down, they brought it to me. And here it was, nothing, not a fin, no fenders on it, not a bolt in it anywhere. So we had to take it over the year, process of a year, and then completely put it back together. So I had to resurrect it from the dead. So that's when I came up with that idea on the airbrush of the trunk lid of the lightning bolt coming down, striking the graveyard, and resurrecting that bee back to life. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and I, I thought it. that was right. really cool. It's a cool story. Yeah. Now, as a Mopar, did you have any rust to deal with? No, when he brought it, again, being at different shops and being cheated, like I said, he'd been at one shop and I was telling you about, and the guy was going to paint it, 
$5,000 over a year later, had to go back and pick the car up. Still in primer, not painted, guy even kept the glass. Didn't even get the glass. Then he had another guy painting stuff there. They did, he painted it, and when they brought it to me again, I never saw a car more, more orange peeled or more rough. So yeah, we just end up having to paint the thing again. What about the little bees on the side of it? It's not ghosted, but it's the same yeah, trip just, color, right? Exactly, sort of a gold color stuff. And, and I really liked that <clears throat> Super B emblem. And I, I thought, I'd like to take the wheel, that Super B and blow it up and make the wheel of the bee be the wheel of the car. So, and that's kind of where we come up with that thing. And then of course did the pearl behind it in the honeycomb. And it's kind of ghosted as you say, or it's in pearl. You kind of have to get move around to see it. But it's pretty cool. And then on the roof of it, we did the big Mopar M and also put the honeycomb pattern inside the big M on the roof. So what I thought about, it turned out cool. What about suspension and all? Suspension stuff, there is all, all uh, shockwave, ride tech, air ride stuff. Awesome. Yeah, so in the four wheel wildwood disc brakes in it. And then the, the air ride is even high tech, high tech redneck stuff, we'll say, where you, it's controlled from your cell phone. You turn oh, it on cool. and it, it locks with your cell phone and you air up, you can air up each corner individually or let it down individually or air the whole thing up or the whole thing down and then it has three ride settings where of course one is completely down, one is ride height and one is all the way up. Right. Just, just a push of a button on your phone. Cool is and that? that's, so that's pretty cool. And boys are ride tech, they got it figured out. I reckon, yeah. Tell me about uh, tires and wheels, what size are they? They are 18s and 20s and they are chip Tip foos wheels, just a stock wheel, I guess a knuckle it's called, but it's a custom wheel something there. And we had the, the depth of them change, you know, kind of like we did on my code, where the back space is 70 30. Okay. And it just makes it look like it's got a really big wheel on it. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. No, it but it's just good. a 10 inch wheel though. Awesome. Yeah. Man. What a cool car, brother. Thanks thank for giving me some time today. Oh, yeah, thank you. So there you go, the 1970 Dodge Coronet Super B. B resurrected. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.